Welcome to the Colleton County School District Title I Annual Meeting for the 2014-15 school year. The mission of the Title I Department is to provide resources and services that will enable disadvantaged children and youth to meet or exceed state standards. Our annual meeting lets you know how we are meeting our mission. Title I office staff includes the Director of Federal and Special Programs, Katherine Turner, Administrative Assistant Tiffany Strong-Moore, and Parent Involvement Coordinator, Shelby Simmons. The Elementary and Secondary Education Act, formerly known as No Child Left Behind, or ESA, is parent-friendly legislation that supports Title I funding. The Title I plan is built on a needs assessment and the Elementary and Secondary Education Act requires accountability. For the 2014-15 school year, South Carolina has a waiver. That means that the Department of Education has designed the accountability standards that we will use for the 2014-15 school year. Components of that evaluation system include a report card with A through F grades based on annual measurable objectives, or AMOs. The students in the district are broken into subgroups and receive scores in four content areas, ELA, Math, Science, and Social Studies. The percent of students tested and graduation rate in all subgroups. Subgroups require a minimum of 30 members and include all students, females, males, disabled, subsidized meals, and ethnic groups, including African American, white or Caucasian, Asian, and other groups of students totaling at least 30 members at the school or district level. Both the district and the school will receive a score under this system. For more information, visit the State of Education's website. The ESA school report cards have not yet been released. In the future, we will update this information with the report card grades for each of the schools and for the district. You will find this information on our website at ccsdtitle1.org. That's ccsdtitle1.org. Schools receive funds in rank order based on the level of poverty. Please see the handout regarding the community eligibility provision and the method by which this level of poverty is being calculated. There's a requirement to serve schools that have at least 35% poverty identified and no requirement to serve schools below 75% poverty. The schools listed will be served in the 14-15 school year. While the final allocation for the Cullen County School District is not available, a preliminary allocation has been made, and that is the amount that the preliminary plan is based off of. The handout provided to participants and available on our website gives information regarding the pre preliminary allocation for schools. For more information, see our website. The final allocation will also be posted. The majority of Title I funds are spent on teacher salaries in order to reduce class size. This year, based on the preliminary allocation, that is approximately 28.99 positions. Additional funds will be spent on instructional intervention, staff development, parent involvement, which must equal a minimum of 1%, and instructional supplies. For details, please see our website. The Parent Involvement Program is a critical component to the Title I legislation and the ESA law. It requires that parents play an integral role in assisting their child's learning and are actively involved in their child's education in school and at home. In the Colton County School District, we recognize that partners are our full partners and are included as appropriate in decision-making on advisory committees to assist in the education of their child. The Title I Partners Team, 
SIC team and PTO are all excellent avenues for you to give your input regarding not only the Title I plan, but the other title programs and the administration of your child's school. Please contact us or visit our website, ccsdtitle1.org, for more information. One component of the Parent Involvement Program of Colton County School District is Uplift, which meets at your child's school. Typically, Uplift sessions are held after school performances or during family literacy nights. Topics for these sessions are based on parent surveys and no registration is required unless required by the school, in which case notices will be sent home in advance with your children. Many of our sessions relate to literacy and free books are often provided as session materials and incentives. If you have questions about Uplift or any of the Title I components that we've discussed in this presentation, please contact the school project manager listed on the screen. Each school has been assigned a project manager by the administrator of the building. In addition to Uplift, the Parent Involvement Coordinator manages the volunteer training program where parents, grandparents, and well-wishers of the schools and our children are invited to come and volunteer or chaperone at various events. As a part of this process, in addition to the application and background check, parents or guardians must attend a training. The currently scheduled trainings are held on the first Thursday of each month. The currently scheduled dates are October 2nd, November 6th, and December 4th. The sessions will be held at 1 p.m. and at 5 p.m. by appointment. Training is also available with 48-hour advance notice by calling the Federal Special Programs Office at 843-782-4522 and pressing option number 3 for Shelby Simmons, the Parent Involvement Coordinator. The Parent Involvement Program also uses information and technology to help you help your children and partners with many organizations within the district and across the state. For more information about our Study Buddy handheld tutoring program, Pebble Go, Tumble Books, or any of our other programs, please contact Coordinator Shelby Simmons at 782-4522, option 3. Because the purpose of the Parent Involvement Program is to promote two-way communication, we use technology to do so. Our websites have had over 16,000 page views since 2011, and our websites have been visited by over 47 countries. In addition, we have over 200 Facebook likes and distribute over 5,000 parent surveys annually on paper and online, as well as nearly 5,000 parent calendar handbooks. Our social network includes the Title I website, which is now also the website for all federal and special programs, our internet safety site, and our social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, all of which you can access using the ID CCSD, the word title, and the number one. Please contact us, friend us, like us, and follow our tweets. If you have any remaining questions or comments, please send your questions to Title I Office, 200B South Jeffries Boulevard, Walterboro, South Carolina, 29488. Call us, email us, or visit our website and use the contact form provided there.